Those of you who have been following the channel for quite a while now might know that a year ago that we did a video on some cheapo pan pipes. These pan pipes were small, they cost like under $10, so they weren't going to be the best of quality. And I don't think that we really got a sound out of them which really did the pan pipes justice. And a year on from that video, we're revisiting pan pipes and checking out a bigger, hopefully better, and more expensive one. I might actually still have the old one. Here we got neck electric thing, uh, nipple clamps, rain stick. Uh, ah, ow, ow. It might be in here somewhere, but I can't be asked to find it. An indication that this is already better quality than the one we had last year is the fact that it comes in an actual bag. The one that we had last year came in a clear plastic bag, which kind of looked like a sandwich bag, and it didn't look all that great. But for less than $10, I don't really expect it to come in a nice quality bag quite like this. Inside the bag, we have the Book of Music, Campus Tutorial, Road 2, The, oh, there's nothing else, a slidable blowpipe, kind of like the blowpipes that you see on a melodica, and then the panpipes themselves. <laughs> So these pan pipes are made of plastic rather than the traditional wooden ones that you see pretty much everywhere. And this one is designed to be quite user friendly and actually comes with a few extra accessories to make it easier to play. Straight out of the bag, it comes with a detachable lip on the top here, which helps direct airflow over the pipes. Without it, you would need to know the basic blowing techniques to actually get a good sound out of the pan pipes, but this just makes it more of a pick up and play instrument. <laughs> way better than the last pan pipes we had. Because I'm pretty sure by the end of that video, I hadn't actually even played a note. Then of course, if you already have experience with pan pipes and you know how to play them, you can just easily just take the top off. You've got a regular old pan pipe. And then if you're after a completely different way of playing the pan pipes, you can then use this attachment right here. Just clip this bar to the top and then take the pipe attachment just here and simply slide it onto the bar. And then once it's attached, you can just blow down the pipe and then slide this bit along to change the notes. <laughs> It works all right, but I don't think it actually sounds as good. It might just be because of how this bar is made, because if you want to hit the lower notes on this end here, you, you can't because it just gets stuck. We need to push to get to that point, And then after that, it just falls off. Actually, we might be able to fix that. Don't cut yourself, don't cut yourself, don't cut yourself. Huh? The culprit, a tiny plastic nub, my one true foe. Hey, there we go. That's probably the first time I've ever tried to fix something on this channel and actually fixed it. Usually, I just make things worse. Personally, I think that this attachment sounds better than the one that we have on the pan pipes at the moment, but it does have the scales etched into it, which makes it a lot easier to play along with the songs which come in the book, which come with the pan pipes. But luckily for us, this thing does come with some stickers so you can have the scale written on the front. Let's go ahead and try and find a song that I know. Nope, nope, nope. Hmm. Do you know Chinese? Okay. Ah, of course, the classic, Ireland Thrush. A thrush so notorious, the Chinese made a song about it. Let us double plasma. Okay, enough of that. For some reason, there's one note which just doesn't want to play correctly, and that's one of the main notes that you need for this song. And it just sounds like there's something clogged in it. See? Awful. All right, let's forget Twinkle Little Star and find a song which doesn't require the F note. F note, F note, F note. Damn it, they all include the F note. After having a little poke around, I actually managed to get the F note to work. So now all the notes work perfectly fine. We're back in business. So now when I suck at playing a song, it's no fault of the pan pipe. It's just entirely me. I kind of wish I didn't fix this thing. Well, that was way better now, I've got the F working. And the next part requires a sliding note, and I don't think I'm ready for that. But bloody hell, I'm gonna give it a try. Damn it. Am I even doing, oh, I'm not even doing it on the right note. Ah. That'll do. Gosh, my lips are tingling. Honestly, I think that's all the songs in here that I know and the rest get quite complicated. I mean, what the hell is, what is this? There's like some jumping lines and dots and underscores and I don't know what the hell's going on.
Not the best smoke on the water I've ever done. In fact, it's probably one of the worst. And that's saying something. Now the only pan pipe that I have to compare this thing to is the one that I tried out a year ago, which wasn't very good. The attachments that this one comes with just makes it such an easy pick up and play instrument. You don't have to worry about knowing the right blowing technique. You just need to pick it up, play it and make music. Or in my case, ear piercing noise. I apologize to you headphone users. This one here is a vast improvement, but it is not without its flaws. Of course, I had an issue with one of the notes just not working, but I did manage to fix it. It would have been great if they all just worked straight out of the bag, but still I managed to get it fixed. It wasn't that big of an issue. The slider attachment though is a bit of a shame. I really wish that it worked better because I think it would be really useful. I've seen people online using a pan pipe very similar to this one with a sliding attachment and a sliding attachment has worked absolutely fine. In fact, it sounded great, but this one just doesn't really work. And it's a bit of a shame because I think it would be a great learning tool when you're just starting out on the pan pipes. So does spending more money land me with a better quality pan pipe? Yes. It may not be the perfect package, but if you're looking to get into playing the pan pipes, this is a good place to start. And with that, I think that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. Shout out to Keegan McAdams, Natasha Savage, Pika Foop, and Luna on Patreon. Thank you very much for your support. And if you like this video, hit like. If you like all our videos, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. And if you want to support the channel further, check the link in the description to our Patreon account. And you can also join us on our Discord server. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.